Kanan Nader has uh, written in saying, how do you compare NPS and uh, PPF? Which one should I choose to invest? Uh, they are not comparable. NPS is a portfolio is, and you can actually choose your allocation. You can choose it. So it's almost like a mutual fund targeted to retirement. PPF is fixed income yielding, guaranteed fixed income yielding. And it has, it have both have, both are tax free in a sense that the appreciation, the money that you invest up to one and a half lakh rupee is tax exempt. You get a tax break on that. It appreciates uh, and you are not liable for any of the tax, uh, any uh, tax on any of the gains. Likewise in PPF, the interest that you earn, you don't pay any taxes and even the withdrawal uh, subsequently on maturity in case of PPF after 15 years, in case of NPS uh, when you attain the retirement age of 60. You take out and that is also tax exempt. So it is all E exempt, exempt, exempt when you invest and so and you get a break too. But uh, I'm hopeful that you know on any period of 10, 15 years and more, NPS with a highest allocation to equity will give substantially superior return because the charm of NPS is that uh, you it has the lowest expense, it gets you an equity exposure, and it gets you all the tax break. Uh, so. From that standpoint, you should consider NPS if you're trying to maximize your return and be regular with your investment. It's like okay. nothing but a M, nothing but a mutual fund, mm -hmm. which can have maximum 75% allocation to equity. And uh, but your money is stuck till your age of retirement. And so in the case of PPF for next 15 years. Okay.